Greetings, all praise King, King Sila Si. Liberal is a measly word. It has no definition. If someone believes that social services shall be provided and yet also believes that homosexuality is a sin, would they be considered liberal? No. Would they be considered conservative? Probably not. What these groups exist to do is to think for you that when you join the group, you become a part of what they stand for. Because after all, it's a collective. They must know more than you collectively, but really they don't budge. Is this BLTGs or abortion or, you know, anti-war? This is great, but why is it that you can't believe in anti-war and also believe homosexuality is a sin? You know, are you not able to think for yourself? So this is a design to divide populations against each other. It should be no more obvious than this. And these organizations, they operate on a one step forward, two steps back model. So they talk a good game, but what are the results? They're not aggressive enough. The whole no nonviolence, we want peace. Um, hey ho, hey ho, they just got to go. It ain't working, and it ain't gonna work, okay? And any time you say, you know what time we step up a game, these people accuse you of being some kind of a, a violent terrorist. They're suckers. And what they do is they promote futurists, people that are committing crimes against I weigh! Every time they mention these company names, like Google, and they throw them around, they're promoting these companies and they're getting paid to do this. So they are part of the problem. On one hand, they tell us that these companies are spying on us and taking the information and giving it to corporation to profit off of our expense. And on the other hand, they tell us, you know, these companies are firing this man because he said something about a woman. These are public relation campaigns. These people know they have lost popularity because they know what people are thinking because they're stalking them. And then here comes these media outlets that are getting paid by these corporations to pretend they're against these corporations while really they're subtly promoting them. And who else are they promoting? Rusty Brand, you know, Katy Perry. I mean, this is like, this is like another dimension. This is nobody is fighting for the sufferer. Nobody is thinking about the person that has perished because of their sin. So what is it? What is it that we have to do to be able to get our voice out? We know YouTube isn't gonna promote us. We know if we get a website, it's just gonna get crashed. I mean, what is it that we have to do? We have to get on the street and make noise. At the moment, Ross is very limited on transportation. But believe me, if Ross had the resources, Ross would be making a scene and enjoying it because it's the work of creator. Now, we're being told that there's a website with a list of names and the FBI is actively trying to get this information from the website. I still use my LavaBit account. For all that don't know, that was a company that had email servers 
provided free email that was not able to be read by others. It was protected, just like mail is always supposed to be. But unfortunately, we've gotten to an error where nobody cares about that anymore because they live in sin. And these outlets are telling us, on one hand, the FBI shut down this company because it wouldn't provide the FBI with the act backdoor access. And on the other hand, the FBI is requesting the information from the company because it can't get it. 